What's up reefers and welcome back to another video here at Aqua SD. My name is Manny and in this video we are going to explain our process of receiving coral shipments and unboxing new corals for the shop. Stay tuned until the end of the video to see some of the awesome new corals we got in this shipment. The first thing that we're going over in this video are some details about where these coral shipments are coming from, how they get here, and some of the challenges when getting corals imported. The shipments that we are getting today are from West Australia and Taiwan, so they are traveling across the planet in order to get to us here in our shop in California. Here's the process they must go through in order to get here. The first step is obtaining permits. The permits required for coral importing and exporting are the following an importer's license for the importers, an exporter's license for the exporters, and CITES for the corals that you are importing. CITES stands for Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species in Wild Fauna and Flora, and basically details the type and number of corals that can be legally exported or imported. Once all the permits have been obtained, the divers then go out into the ocean and collect corals according to the current demand for certain corals and with adherence to their CITES permits. The divers then determine the pricing of all the corals they have collected. The exporter's pricing is usually determined based on the following factors. The scarcity of the coral type, the amount of resources the divers must use in order to obtain that given type of coral. For example, corals that come from a remote area require a lot more time and resources to obtain when compared to a coral that might be in abundance in easily accessible areas. The extent of danger that might be involved with obtaining certain corals. For instance, Croc Island scullies can be expensive because they are collected from an island which is home to saltwater crocodiles. And lastly, the demand for that specific type of coral. All the available corals and their pricing are then provided to us as importers and we make our orders. Once orders have been confirmed, they are boxed up and shipped across the world to the importers. Once the corals have arrived in the importer's country, a broker will then make sure that all of the paperwork is accounted for and sent to the appropriate government agencies. These agencies will then review and approve the documentation which allows for the coral shipment to be cleared for final delivery to the importer. Now that the corals have been shipped and made it here to us in the US, our driver will bring them from the airport to our shop where we can begin the process of unboxing and accounting for the corals in our order. The first step of unboxing is exactly that. We open up the boxes and start floating the bags to get all the corals temperature acclimated. From here, we take the corals out of the bags and organize them into their holding tanks so we can account for all the corals in our order. When in the holding tanks, we are also able to observe the corals and determine any DOAs or corals that need to be treated before moving them into grow out. When moving corals into their grow out tanks, we make sure to add corals into the tanks that will match their care requirements and allow them to recover from the long term. As you can see, many of the corals are closed up when they come in, but should open back up once they have acclimated to the new tanks. Now we've made it to the fun part. Time to show off some of the new corals that came in this order. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the view. That covers everything for this episode and we hope you've been able to learn a little bit more about importing corals. If you like this video and want to see more videos like this, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button. If you would like us to go into more detail on any part of importing corals or have any questions about things we discussed in this video, 
Leave us a comment below and let us know so we can cover it in future videos. Also, if you missed any of our previous videos, check out the links on screen and give them a watch. Until next time, happy reefing and see you soon.